We do want to start with our team in Flagstaff. ABC 15 Mornings anchor Nick Saletti leading our team coverage. Nick, there are three fires burning with two of those fires actually combining into one big one. Yeah, Justin Allison, so as if one fire wasn't enough, as you mentioned, three fires and of course that one combining overnight to an even bigger one. So we know crews here in Flagstaff certainly have their hands full right now. So we're actually standing in a neighborhood right off of 89A, right by where it's actually shut down behind me. You can see that's actually smoke billowing in from these fires. And then actually, if we zoom off over here to the distance here, you can see even more smoke there around the mountain. And also, we've been seeing some hot spots throughout the morning there. We've been keeping a close eye on them. We know those fire crews are doing the same thing. So as you mentioned, the haywire and double fires actually combined overnight into one larger fire simply going to be known as the Haywire Fire moving forward. Let's go ahead. I want to show you a map of how all of this is playing out. You can see just how close these fires are to each other. And I have to mention how close they are to the city of Flagstaff. That has so many people nervous this morning. The pipeline fire burning roughly six miles north of Flagstaff. Let's show you some new video of that fire coming in from Calvin Johnson this morning. At last check, the pipeline fire has burned roughly 5,000 acres, but I have to point out that is only an estimate this morning. As of late Monday, crews were unable to fly their planes to try to map out how big this fire has gotten because of the intense winds. They weren't able to fly those planes, so they're hoping to at least try to get a better idea of how big this fire really is later on today. Unfortunately, it is still at 0% containment. And now the question is, how exactly did all of this start? We can tell you that one man was arrested in connection to this pipeline fire. He had his first hearing in federal court Monday, and we have exclusive video of him being brought in and out by U.S. Marshals. Investigators claiming Matthew Reiser admitted to setting a fire during restrictions by burning used toilet paper. He's going to be back in court on Thursday. We have to mention the Haywire fire as well. It's at 2,600 acres right now, 0% contained at last check. We know 281 homes are in go mode, 57 in set mode. Go mode means evacuate. Set mode is you have to be ready to evacuate if those conditions get any worse. Now, there are a number of road closures this morning. I mentioned 89A is closed. That's probably the biggest one. We have more of those road closures on ABC15.com. There's also a shelter set up at Sanagua Middle School. We're going to head there in just a little bit. In the meantime, I mean, we see this all over the place, just how dry this is. So much of this is around here. Unfortunately, things like this can really fuel these fires and make things so much worse for these fire crews. We will be out here throughout the morning for you and let you know how this firefight is going here in Flagstaff this morning. Well, right. even in just 24 hours, seeing the coverage yesterday at this time, the winds had already started to whip up something fierce there. It doesn't look like that's happening just yet. We are going to be checking in with meteorologist Iris Hermosillo in just a bit to see those conditions the fire crews it, are going to be dealing with. It is something that video from Calvin Johnson, my gosh, yeah. just devastating. Scary.